I'd just like to compare the output we get from PyTest with what you get from unit test. So I've set up two folders here, each with the same phone book code that I've actually deliberately broken here so I can look at the test failures. So in one folder I have a simple test using unit test and in the other folder I have an equivalent test using PyTest. So now I can run each of these tests and compare the failure information. So first the unit test. As you can see, all the information you need is here. You can see which test failed on which assert statement. So this is the equivalent for PyTest. And as you can see, PyTest has given you a little bit more. But the thing is, for this simple test case, for a class that we're currently designing, this output that we get from unit test is perfectly sufficient. I think PyTest really comes into its own when you're getting unexpected failures in test cases that you're not familiar with, maybe. Another important point about PyTest, though, is it may not be an either-or choice. If you have a lot of existing tests that use unit test, or even nose or doc test, the PyTest test runner will quite happily discover those tests and execute them alongside the PyTest tests. So let me show you. So I'm telling PyTest here to look for tests in this directory where there are only actually unit tests. As you can see, it's quite happily discovered the unit test and executed it. The failure message we've got here is actually pretty much equivalent to the one we got before with unit test. It's doing less analysis and introspection compared with when it was running a native PyTest. So if you have a lot of tests in another tool, it's relatively smooth to go over and start using PyTest for designing new test cases. You'll still be able to run all the existing cases. I think you do have to be a bit careful, though, about test fixtures. Unit tests and PyTest handle these completely differently, as we saw. So it will be hard for your tests to share fixture code if you're mixing together unit tests and PyTest.